What is up, guys? Flood914, back here with some more, yeah, ranking challenge. Let's play Yu Gi Oh! Duels of the Roses. So let's start by reincarnating a card, shall we? And I think we'll do one, you know, right around 19 or 20 or so. Uh, what I'm looking for in particular are uh, yeah, you, any power ups we don't have. As well as, like, a uh, baby dragon would be good. And it's right around 19. So let's go for, yeah, little D, sure. So let's try. Uh, is that Time Wizard? Oh, it is. Well, well look, we're probably going to keep this one, boys and girls. Amoeba. Hmm. Okie dokie. I'll take it. I'll take it. And is that... What's that? Weather control. Wow. Pretty good reincarnation overall. So check out Time Wizard here. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. It actually has uh, an effect in this game. Um, yes. If you fuse Time Wizard with a dragon, you will get Thousand Dragon, so that's pretty good. Oh, yeah. When this card's flip face up, all dragon types uh, with attacks less than 2400, including your opponents, are transformed into Thousand Dragons. So, yeah, just keep in mind that last part I said, including your opponents. So, definitely, whenever you use this flip effect, watch out and see what transforms forms on the field. Pretty good effect though. Uh, weather control. Pretty interesting. This card's flip they said. Transforms all adjacent spaces to wasteland. So yeah, it's like a furious seeking level wasteland and also doesn't get the boot most itself. Now something funny you could do is, you know those cards that change types into zombies? Yeah, you could change this card to a zombie type and then you've really got something going on. You know, wait till it's as strong as a Kyriushin. Start charging in. All right, and uh, Ami Amoeba, as I'm sure you guys know, when destroyed, transforms everything to sea spaces. So, obviously, pretty good for our deck. Um, anyway, let's take a look at our main deck. So, how many dragons do we have? Let's go by type sort. Uh, well, we only have two. Hmm. If we had more, I honestly would throw in Time Wizard, but I think I'll save Time Wizard for when we do get more, because that'll really help. Um, something I could do, though, is throw in Amoeba. But, um, it is at 12 deck cost, and we're still using our main deck to fight, like, uh, uh what you call it, like, uh, bones and stuff. Um, so, I think he's at 795, right? So, I don't want to take out anything, like, you know, too weak, um, because we won't be able to fight him. Um, let's just do... Bolting? No, no, let's do... Maybe I'll do Tears of the Mermaid for now. Yeah. Um, yeah, because I have some more powerful trap cards like Mesmeric Control. You know what? Infinite Dismissal is kind of on the weak side as well. I know it's still binds for three turns, but, you know, it doesn't power down or anything. Um, so let's, yeah, take out that for Amoeba. Um, but yeah, I'll save Time Wizard for later. I mean, I definitely want to show you guys, but the fact that I only have, like, two dragons is kind of like, eh, you know, I probably shouldn't, uh... But anyway, as far as, uh, weather control, yeah, speaking of that strategy I was just talking about, um, I'm pretty sure in this deck, I've got, uh, yeah, some cards that are good with zombies and wasteland in general, as well as, yeah, this card, Blue-Eyed Silver Zombie. So, you know what? Let's follow my own advice, and let's take out Infant Dismissal out of here. Put in weather control. Okay. Sounds good. Sounds good. Good days of work. So, okay. And I don't know if Time Wizard would work with, like, Dragon Zombie, like it does in Forbidden Memories. Um, I don't think so, but hey, feel free to try it, I guess. Um, anyway, we'll definitely save to that. That was a very good reincarnation. Okay, so, uh, we are at Major, so we're free to fight Rex. Let's do it with our zombie deck. Yeah, and, and I will switch decks, you know, as you guys know. You, you guys have been watching this for a while, just to, just to kind of mix it up, not bore myself, you know, not bore you guys, you know, so... And ultimately, now that we added some new cards to this deck, there is something pretty cool I want to show, so... Don't know if I'll get the chance to do it, but, uh, ah, Gemini Elf. Man, that's some cool artwork. Didn't, didn't it take us, like, about, uh... Man, I swear it took us about... Maybe about like 11 years to get a Gemini Elf with this artwork. I'm pretty sure it did, which is crazy, but you know, anyway. What you got, Rex? Ah, dumping cards. That's okay, buddy. I do that too. Especially when I'm needing to draw some other cards. Let's move right here. This card can, uh, yeah, uh, 
spell by for three turns. So it's like an infinite dismissal, but it's also a monster, which is pretty good. Um, let's go with... I like... You know what? Let's play Gemini Elf right here. Maybe strong enough if he doesn't power up something on this side. And we will end the turn. Go ahead, Rex. Okay, he did not power up, so we'll charge him with Gemini Elf. Yeah. Oh, he didn't flip two, so this must be the armored lizard. Okay. okay. Um, I think for now, I'll just put down a violet crystal. Yeah, yeah, we'll charge in. We'll charge in. I am not afraid. And we will switch to defense. In the turn. Alright. Not doing too much there, Rex. Take this. Paralyzation. Mwahaha. <laughs> yeah, you can't handle my shadow who controls the dark, can ya? Ooh, good card. So, yeah. <laughs> I think that we reincarnated for this card, but it stops him from using defense mode. Pretty good. Uh, let's just move here. And I'll play Shadow of Eyes right here. There we go. And eh, I'm not afraid. Oh, Bear Trap. Nicely done, Rex. Man, one of my better monsters in this deck, too. 1900? It was just weak enough to get uh, get destroyed by that, but it's okay. It's okay, you know. Well played by Rex. Ah, now he's powering up. Okay, okay. All right, all right. Okay. Well, we can actually still move this, so let's do that. This card's kind of useless on this field, so we'll dump that. And we'll go with Castle. Right, flip it up. Alright, move back. I'll probably move this out of the way. That seems like a good idea. And yeah, he did. This does have 500 extra, so we gotta watch out. In the turn. Go ahead, Rex. Jim, Jim. Bow, wow, bow, bow, bow. Wait, what time did I start this episode at? I don't remember, but, uh, anyway. Let's see. Hmm. Not drawing any zombies so far. One thing I think I will do, though, let's dump this. And, uh, yeah, let's actually weaken whatever he's got coming toward us here. Because it did get a power-up, so let's just be on the safe side. This card should be free soon. Yeah, yeah. Be free next turn, actually. You fail for my trap. Yeah, Mega Seller, 2800. Not bad, bro. Oh, he ran over his own card. Good. I guess we will see. Was it the Armored Lizard? I think it was, because he didn't move it twice. Uh, it was. Okay. And what's this get now? 2000? Okay. That's manageable. Ah, speaking of manageable, we have Pumpkin, the King of Ghosts. So, let's do it. That's the main star of this deck, so... We'll pump, 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 pump it up a little more. Yeah. Why not? <laughs> he still has an activated Shadow of Eyes. Pretty funny, considering I played it like, what, like five turns ago? But, uh, anyway... I'm gonna grab a drink while Pumpkin does its deadly a zombie girl. Let's watch. Now, you do have to watch out for Eternal Rest, since he does have that card. But the good part is, is yeah, Rex only has, like, one of that card. So, as soon as he plays Eternal Rest, you don't have to worry about it the rest of the duel. So, or you could just, like, be hyper-aggressive, which I think I am going to be with this pumpkin. And just charge it in and uh, basically hope to overwhelm him <laughs> before he even gets a chance to activate it. So, that's, you know... Take your pick, take your pick. Crawling Dragon. This card's helped us a lot in uh, memories that are forbidden. Or have I even posted that episode yet? 
Oh well, spoilers. We, we do get this card. <laughs> <laughs> What's funny is is that this card actually counts as a dragon for fusions in that game, which is pretty funny. And because it's a dragon at 1600, yeah, all you need is one thunder to go into THTD. Pretty badass. That, unfortunately, that doesn't work in this game. In fact, in this game, it seems like they fixed a lot of fusions. Like, a lot of fusions that, like, seem like they shouldn't work in Forbidden Memories. They definitely tweaked them in this game to where it seems a little more... You know, believable. I mean, there are still some pretty weird fusions in this game, though, if you look hard enough. Like, uh, for instance, you can fuse a uh, perfectly ultimate Great Moth into, um, into... Let's get rid of... Wait, wait, wait. Can't I make a new fusion here? I think I can. Let's try you. Oh, it doesn't work. It doesn't work. Okay, okay, okay. Um, but yeah, I think you can make... Um, <laughs> yeah, you can actually fuse a perfectly ultimate Great Maw with... Um, I think with a Dino to make Sword Arm of Dragon in this game, which is pretty crazy, but... Well, I don't know if it's that fusion exactly, but long story short, you can use perfectly ultimate Great Maw for like a ridiculously low-powered fusion in this game, so... You don't believe me? Look it up. It's pretty hilarious, actually. Uh, ooh, Pequeño Moth. Uh, good thing I have infinite dismissal still in this deck, I guess. Uh, we'll keep you close in case we get any power-ups or anything. And yeah, he's not playing any cards, so Pumpkin, go get him, buddy. Uh, yep, you activated my trap card, son. Alright. Be stuck for a few turns. Running away, huh? Why are you running away from me? Alright, we'll chase that card down. 2100, huh? Ah! Maybe I should move away, actually, at this rate. Uh, let's move Tiger here. And let's clear out a few cards. Let's clear... No, no, no. Let's just play Red Medicine. Let's just play because it's the medicine. And he still hasn't triggered a Shadow of Eyes yet either, has he? No, he is not. That's funny. All right, go ahead, Rex. Probably going to move forward. Yeah. Ooh, now you triggered it. Hey, hey, no defense mode for you. Oh, man, he's not playing any cards. He's not summoning. I don't know. Maybe I'll cut this episode and uh, just go for a turn count win, considering this guy's not doing anything. Let's play Dark Energy right here. There we go. Uh, Pumpkin, attack this card. Ah, it was a uh, Yurabi, huh? Well, no. say goodbye, Yurabi. I do like Yurabi in general, though. <laughs> you know, like, I remember getting the first, uh, you know, the first Yugi starter deck. Well, actually, I don't know if it was the first one or not, but anyway... The one I bought, you know, was the UV one, you know, because I was going for Dark Magician and stuff. You, you guys know how it is. But yeah, this card was in it. It had, it had a bunch of, you know, normal monsters like uh, Celtic Guardian, had this Giant Soldier Stone, you know, Mystical Elf and stuff. But this card was just randomly in there, you know. <laughs> uh, well, actually, maybe that wasn't the UV one. Maybe it was the Jelly one? I don't know. But whatever starter deck, you know, I'm thinking of one of those really old starter decks. Uh, this one was in it. And, uh, yeah. Actually, you won me a few games on the playground, believe it or not. <laughs> but then again, you could win just about any duel on the playground. All things considered. Go ahead, Rex. Go ahead. Man, yeah, he's not doing diddly. Diddly, diddly, diddly. All right, we'll move here. Maybe I will go for the turn count. I don't know. He's got one turn left. That's pretty interesting. Wow, I actually drew the combo. Um, well, might as well play it. Cocoon plus Moth equals... Yeah, Larva of Moth. Wow. I'm really surprised I drew that combo. Because I'm down to, like, one each uh, in this deck, so... That's pretty interesting. Uh, maybe I'll have Tiger run away. Yeah, over here. Yeah, because this guy is about to be free, so... Gotta keep that in mind. Sure. Okay. All right. Yeah. Man, he did nothing that turn. Wow. That's, well, thanks, Rex. I mean, I guess that does make this episode a little faster, you know, for the fans. So I appreciate that. But uh, 
I'm gonna see, so we can get Zombie Warrior. Um, oh, well, actually, darn, I wish I had my other dark energy. I think I could beat this guy, actually, if I had, uh, let's just see how this works here in terms of the power I've got. So, I, I'm just curious if this would have worked if I had my other dark energy. Oh, it would have. Wow. Because I would have had 2,300. Wow. Okay. Well, uh, we'll move here and we'll end the turn with you in defense mode. So, good move, Rex. Good move. Yeah, he did attack, so. Man. Well, I played the other Dark Energy from my hand, though, because I was ultimately just trying to draw more cards there, obviously. But, uh, I guess I misplayed, I guess. Oh well. I'm surprised I haven't drawn by the crystal yet either. But, uh. Now watch. Now that I've used, you know, three cards on my last turn, now we'll draw by the crystal, I bet. But it really would have helped there, for sure. It's all good. It's just Rex Raptor. I'm sure we can draw something to beat this monster. Is he gonna summon? No, he's not. Wow. Um, what's funny is, because he did that, I could actually summon something right here and attack him directly. Uh, and he's only got 1,700 life points, so maybe I'll do that. Um, well, hmm. Win or show something cool that I wanted to show? Okay, guys, well, actually, we can do both. So, check this out. This is kind of what I was referring to last episode, Shadow Bull can transform into, yeah, wall shadow. So if we go here and we move uh, Shadow Ghoul into the labyrinth, then huzzah! Yeah, it actually transforms, let me just show you guys, yeah, into wall shadow, which uh, it says movement can move into labyrinth terrain. And as you see there, it's got 3,000 defense. Pretty good, pretty good. So that's ultimately what I wanted to show here by Dueling Rex anyway. And now that we have, let's just take him on out. I'm king attack. So I guess my strategy paid off. Chasing him down, he never drew eternal rest. So, yeah. I guess something else I could have done is just, you know, attack his uh, crawling dragon with Shadow Bull. Because it is still a zombie before you transform it. So that would have worked. Uh, anyway. Okay. I actually want that uh, Mammoth Graveyard. Ooh, I missed it. Okay. Got it. Yes. All right. And so I'm actually going to add Mammoth Graveyard to the zombie deck. Um, why? Well, maybe you guys will see why. But it's actually a pretty good card. If you're running any zombie deck, I highly recommend you add that card. If you so happen to win it from Rex. So... Pretty good. You guys will see. Oh, we have two. Wow. I, I'm slacking, guys. I'm not following my own advice. Um, invigoration. Do I even have any earth monsters still in this deck? Um, I think I have some. Oh, you're right. I guess I have, like, King Tiger Wangu and stuff. Um, maybe I should take this out, honestly. Yeah. Okay. We'll add in a mammoth. And then let's take out a, uh, eh, we could take out anything, really. I guess let's just take out, mm, let's start taking out some of these wolves, yeah. Let's take out a wolf, and put in another mana, okay. And then we'll just switch decks to this one, which I think this is my forest deck with, uh, with Rosie, yeah. We'll go with this deck, uh, what time is it, by the way? Okay, I think we're about 15 minutes in. I don't know, that duel did take quite a while. Uh, but yeah, we're at major rank with her, so we can take on Rex or we will. Uh, we will, sure. Just because we don't have to worry about changing the field. Alright, so I think we'll take on Weevil, and that'll be it for this episode, I think. Huh. Yeah, because I think we're at about like 20 minutes or so. So, actually, I need to make this kind of quick, and for that reason, uh, yeah, I'll put it to a very big for now. Uh, not bad, not bad. Um, 
let's just slow. I want to set the shrap card. And in my turn. Go ahead. Powering up? Hmm. Well, that could be his giant flea. <laughs> or it could be his man eater bug. He's done that to us way many of a time. Um. Let's just play this in case it is giant flea. Eh, sure. We'll show one back. We'll show one. Go ahead, Rosie. It is big insects. Close. Close call. But, uh, yeah. mentioned in this episode and I'm glad I'm thinking of it now uh I think the time was distracting me but uh yeah man uh, you guys are awesome you guys are awesome first of all I wanted to send a big big thank you to you guys especially while I'm recording this uh yeah one of my recent episodes of uh all I titled it was like the power of deck leader abilities and uh yeah you guys rock man that video is doing doing pretty good as the time I'm recording this it's got like uh See how many views it's got, actually. Uh, well, it's it's got like over over like 400 right now. At the time I'm recording this, which is honestly pretty high for my channel. So yeah, appreciate you guys. Um, yeah. And like the views in general, I guess because of that video, are up on this uh, on the ranking challenge. So ah, blade fly. Well, this is gonna spell by this, but uh, yeah, yeah, and um. Yeah, also the number of subscribers are up. I think I checked like about, eh, maybe it was like 10 or 12 days ago. Uh, the day I'm recording this is July 28th, 2023. And yeah, like in the recent, like in the past like 15 days, I've gained like, like a whole bunch of subscribers, like 25. So, which I mean, I mean, I may sound like a low number, but for this channel, that's like really, really good. So. Yeah, you guys are awesome. I appreciate it, and, uh, yeah. Thank you. <laughs> That's all I really wanted to say on that one, you know. Uh, so we'll move this closer. And, I don't know, maybe I should post more videos like that, if I can think of any. Um, but, uh, yeah. Anyway. Do -do -do. Go keyboard. So we're both uh, spellbinding each other. <laughs> Speaking of spellbind or spellbinding, they actually came out with a card. Uh, I didn't know they had this card. Let's dub one dino while we're at it. But uh, yeah, I, I was playing some Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Duel the other day. You know, just doing the dailies or whatever. And I actually pulled a, like, a, I think it was a super rare or something. But yeah, the card's called uh, Spellbound. And I was like, wait, what? Isn't that, a <laughs> Isn't that what happens in Duels of the Roses? But what it actually does, like in the actual card game, uh, yeah, it makes it so the way that, like, all the monsters the opponent currently has on the field, they can't be used as, like, Link material, Fusion material, uh, Synchro, Exceed, etc. I think it might even work on Ritual material, which is pretty funny, yeah. So basically, it locks down everything except, I guess, Pendulum Summoning, which... You can't really use Pendulum as a material, you know what I mean? So, yeah. Anyway, pretty interesting card, for sure. Ooh, powering up. Ooh, that might beat my KR. Oh, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, that video I was talking about, yeah, I called it the, uh, yeah, the power of Death Leader abilities or whatever. And, like, right now it's up to. 495 views at the time of this recording, and I just posted that video like how many days ago? Uh, not too long ago. Uh, yeah, 
looks like like three days ago or so. So, <laughs> yeah, I mean, long story short, I mean, I mean what I said, you guys are awesome. I guess we'll get something, some experience here because we're going to win. Uh, let's just grab... Uh, no, no, no. Chris, man, yeah, we'll get you some EXP. Yeah, buddy. There you go. Chris, man. <laughs> yep, look at him, look at him, look at Chris, man. <laughs> I've always thought this card looks pretty, pretty cool, honestly. Yeah, look at him flexing and stuff. <laughs> Let's uh, just uh, back out a little bit, attack with Rose, and that'll be it. But yeah, yeah, appreciate you guys, and um, yeah. We're just going to keep pressing on here. All right. <laughs> episode guys um i think i have time for a couple more um but what i may do is just like i did at the first episode since we reached the you know the end of a door i may um do like another turn count to start versus uh, somebody in the uh, at the start of next episode and then we'll go from there you know we'll do some regular duels so uh yeah that sounds like a good plan to me Oh, okay, missed it. I was going for cannon armor. I guess we'll go for a three in a row. I mean, Goku Boar is not the best card, but still. Um, oh, I missed it. Okay, well, in that case, laser cannon armor, you're up. That's what I was originally going for. Uh, got it. Okay. So, there we go. All right. But, yeah, appreciate you guys. Thank you for joining me. And, uh, yeah, I think that'll do it for this episode. All right, and how many wins are we up to? 109. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. So I think we are, how many are we, are we from reincarnating? Three? Yeah, because that's a total of 112, right? Yeah, okay. So yeah, maybe I'll do like a uh, turn count to start, and then just for the rest of this recording session, we'll try to get to another reincarnation and call it good. So uh, yeah, all right, guys. Uh, yep, I'll see you guys all next time on Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Soul Roses Ranking Challenge. Alright. And uh, we're still in the uh, Captain of the Colonel saga, right? Right, right. Alright. Bye-bye. You guys have a great day.